We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. So, so simple. Why did I have to come back here? Be reminded of all this. Grand Hall. It's in ruin. <laughs> May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. You can get through over here! I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. <laughs> to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. It's Sparta. We were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned. 
fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. <laughs> Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, Grover. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. That torch is trapped under the bramble. You need to free it. What about the brain? Can you turn it somehow? Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? That torch is trapped under the bramble. You need to free it.
Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? <laughs> Swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path. <laughs> Let's cross the bridge. <laughs> Can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when we don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! Creature! It belongs to Odin? No! Protect Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are! Bastard was counting on it! You have its attention now! Don't lose it! Ugh! 
Behind you! Burn it off its perch! Use your blade! Burn it quickly! No! Your other weapon! Let us finish this! It's open! 
done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I don't think I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry. And it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. But I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me.